I'm your friend, Dr. Charles uh, Pokey. I'm climbing the stairs in my house. There's something called acrophobia. Acrophobia is fear of heights. When people who have acrophobia climb mountains, they feel very nervous. When I went to Sierra Leone and went towards the Forabe University and went up the hill, my legs were like butter in a hot day sun. And when I looked down, my legs were wobbling. The same thing happened when I went to Antananarivo in Madagascar, I went towards the presidential palace. There are people like that who have what I call social acrophobia the fear of climbing up and it's predominantly among Christians. We tend to live a mediocre life because we think that people, the Bible has said that when you give arms to the poor, let your right hand not know what your left hand is doing. So we live in obscurity and mediocrity. But the Bible says let your light so shine that men may see your good works and glorify the Lord. It says, the Bible says, you are the salt of the earth. It says, study to show thyself approved. Who does the showing? Yourself. See, you don't light a lamp and hide it under a bushel. Most of us, in the bid to be falsely religious and falsely humble, we dare not manifest the full content of our lives. And when we see people who are not Christians manifesting the fullness of their lives, we will say that they are possessed by demons. Now, what is a manifest? A manifest is the content of a ship or a vessel describing the cargo and the persons or the content. So, Manifestation is not only for demons, it is for the revelation, the unveiling, the liberation of the deposit in you. See, the whole creation is endlessly tiptoeing, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. You see, a lot of us are so afraid of excellence. A lot of us are so afraid of maximizing, maximizing our lives. A lot of us are so afraid of attaching value to our talents, attaching value to our giftings. When I wanted to do the Inner Caucus Conference, and I said people will pay 10,000 Naira to attend, somebody said, is it not the Holy Spirit that gave you the revelation? Why must you charge? And I told the person, do you buy Bibles that are revelations of the Holy Spirit? Do you pay school fees in Bible schools and your pastors and salary? You see, social acrophobia is impressed in your spirit. Who dash monkey banana? But monkeys eat bananas in the forest. So, as much as possible, dare to demand for your worth from society. Dare not to be treated like trash. Dare to ask for value to be added to you dare to put a good price on your head. I'm supposed to speak somewhere to workers in an oil company. I insisted that they pay for that lecture, it's not preaching, lecture on their future. And they agreed on the price with please. I could just go there, give it free, and they would treat me like trash. Anything that is too available sometimes loses value. That you do something with ease does not mean it is valueless. It is your gifting. And the gift of a man may get away. And the gift of a man should feed a man. If not, it is an abuse of gifting. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles uh, Pokey.